One of the most impactful and devastating data breaches or hacks of the last few years was the Equifax data breach. This one incident affected nearly half of the US population and we're going to show you exactly how this happened and how the exploit works. Equifax, the largest credit reporting agency and one of the largest human intel databases in the world, was breached when a hacker discovered that there was an unpatched version of Apache Stretch software running on a server in their DMZ facing the internet. What makes this significant is that during the congressional hearing that followed this breach, it was revealed that penetration testers had actually found this vulnerability months before. As for their official report, the breach happened mid-May of 2017. There was actually a patch available for this vulnerability in March. That means two months passed after they knew they were vulnerable and did nothing to fix it. What you will see in this demonstration is that this hack is not very difficult to pull off. As a matter of fact, we might even say it's novice or beginner level hacking. Let's get started. So what you see on my desktop here is just my typical attacker machine where I'm actually going to go ahead and scan what is my target here. Now this is just a straight in-map scan. This is what we would use if you were scanning a publicly uh, available or a public facing server. And that scan simply shows me what ports are open or which ports are accepting connections on that server or on that IP. What we would do next is dig a little deeper and find out what the actual service version is that's running on each one of these individual ports. We're gonna focus on port 8081, okay? So I repeat that scan, but I narrow it down to just that port and give it a flag SV. And this is basically my way of telling the in-map tool to do a version probe, which means it's going to dig into that service, get feedback from that service and figure out what version that service is based on what the service responds with. So we go ahead and run that. And as you can see here, InMap comes back and tells us that like, hey, it's running this particular version of that service. Now we're gonna simply go out to the internet just regular old Google here, search for vulnerabilities related to that service. And we can clearly see that there are several exploits out there for that specific version of that service. And it's all related to the server name Regetto, which gives us actually more information. So now I'm gonna go right back into my exploit tool here, which is Kali. Search for exploits related to Regetto, and we can clearly see that there are several that actually come back. Now, furthermore, in the actual Metasploit database, I can actually just search for that as well, and it'll come back with results to show me that this particular exploit framework has exploits for that service. Once that comes back, all that's left for me to do is simply load that exploit and then see if it works against that service. And let's go ahead and do that. Now I just set up the other requirements to run the exploit. such as a payload, which is basically what I want the exploit to do for me. Put in my target. And then the port that that service is actually running on that we discovered there. So with all these things in place, all that's left for me to do is simply launch the exploit to see if the service is indeed vulnerable. So I go ahead and run it. And as you can see, what happens there is I get back a session and that session notification there really means that I've totally compromised the system and I have control of it. To prove that, I will simply take a screenshot. And if we now go and view that image that was just saved locally to our machine, what you'll see is that it actually is indeed a screenshot of what's on that victim's machine that we just compromised, as we can see there. 
So this exploit, as you saw there, it didn't take me long to exploit it. It wasn't very complex. This is exactly what happened with Equifax, whereas they had a vulnerable piece of software like this running and facing the internet. It got discovered in a regular penetration test and they chose not to fix it. As you can imagine, what ended up happening is, of course, a bad hacker came along, found the same vulnerability, exploited it just like I exploited this vulnerability and they had control of that Equifax server moved horizontally inside Equifax, and then its history as we know it from that point. 